What's up, Guan Wang Guan, to all of my nice and decent people out there, to all of my viewers and subscribers, thank you very much for coming and visiting me here on Renegade Crew TV. Now, yes, it's me again, Super, and I'm here to go ahead and talk to you about this video that I came up upon. And this video is a video about a record executive who actually dealt with some rappers and, you know, other music talents in the industry hip-hop or otherwise and you know i'm not gonna say i'm one of those people who fight against the music industry but i do understand and i do agree with some of the things that this brother is saying about this man is saying and some people have talked out against it as well, so recently as even Kanye West. Uh, the crab in a barrel type of situation. Um, also, talking about and promoting criminal activities. There has been a recent argument you know even with the um jbc um jamaican broadcasting commission who decided that they were going to ban um all music that promoted molly uh um, illegal guns and things like that in their music will not be played on the airwaves and Recently, I even seen a video with Charleston White. If you don't know who Charleston White is, you need to go ahead and go look him up. And recently, he was on an interview in Chicago, and they were talking about the idea of the white man being responsible for what um, the rappers and you know, some of the mute black people in the music industry promotes and the type of music they promote and the type of content that they push in their music. And they are there to make sure that you don't push it with any other race. But when it comes to you and your race, you can do whatever, say whatever, and they don't care about it. All they there is to make money. Now here is a case where this is exactly what this man is talking about. And he breaks it down. He breaks it down to a point where if you did not understand it before, you should. You will after he's done. So I'm going to go ahead and play the video. And we can talk about it a little bit more if you like. But here we go. Light of seeing that a rapper from Migos died, I just wanted to go ahead and make a video about something I have a unique experience in. So I directed a bunch of rappers, people like Gucci Mane, Snoop Dogg, you know, uh, Lil Yachty, the list goes on and on and on, okay? I learned a lot of things um, and I have left the industry um, largely over my political beliefs, but there is something I want to impart to people to hopefully, you know, make some sort of change happen. So I have a challenge to rappers and I know some of you still follow me. I know a bunch of the celebrity blogs still follow me from trying to get news from music videos and things like that. So here's the truth. The truth is this, a bunch of young black male rappers keep dying. You know who's not dying? Record executives. The record executives that push for them to continue to make songs and create a culture that is obsessed with death, drugs, and sex, period. The industry is obsessed with it, but those record executives, they're not dying because they don't push this culture on their own people, but they're encouraging you to push it on yours and they're paying you handsomely to do it. The reality is I know a lot of you. A lot of you are good people, your family guys, you're not the image that you put out there to the world. Why? Why don't you be the example? Stand up. I challenge you. Be the example. Make music about the culture you want to see. Don't just get online today and talk about how, you know, whenever a rapper makes it, his own people take him down. Don't just make those videos. Don't be sad. Don't rest in peace. None of that stuff. Be the change you want to see. 
Inspire it in your community. Reach out to other rappers and say, we have to stop. We're being used. You've been used for a long time, you know. They create this paradigm to make you believe that you're so important and your celebrity status is worth so much, but in truth, you're a pawn in their game and you always have been. The government has wanted to hold down communities of people in different ways through different methods for a very long time. Their method in the black community has been to use entertainment to create a culture obsessed with death, drugs, sex, and money so that they could create a false paradigm of what happiness and what success really was. And in doing so, they created a world that also made people more dependent on government. And as a result, gave themselves more power. The record executives that push you to do this, to go and continue to profit off the backs of your work, they're in cahoots with the elite. They're in cahoots with the government. They want you to think you're important, but in truth, you're just doing their dirty work for them, so stop. They've empowered you in ways that are real. You have an audience, you have platforms, you have the ability to make change. So go against the grain together. They're more afraid of you all together standing up and creating a new culture that's built around family, faith, freedom, doing the right thing, valuing life than they are of anything else. So I challenge you, use your power to do the right things. If you continue to do the same thing you've done, more rappers like this are going to die. How many have to die before you change the culture? And let me tell you something else. There's a reason the record labels pay us more to do rap videos. They don't tell you that, do they? Do they tell you that they pay us more to do your videos? Because they do. They do it because they know it's more dangerous. They do it because they know it's more difficult and they do it because frankly, there's a lot of money laundering involved. Those labels wash a bunch of money through. We don't do it, but we know the labels are doing it 100%. Okay, they're then taking the money off the top end and you see on your royalty check, oh, they spent 150,000 on this video. Did they? Because we didn't see 150,000. Okay, so, and to who? Their friend's company? A lot of times that's the case. Same thing with insurance companies. They charge us more to insure your videos. And it's because they know the culture that's been created. They know that the only possibility of a music video being shot up is on a rap video. And that's the truth. So change the culture. You have the power. Now you see how he break that how he breaks that down. Um, what I'm gonna talk about is basically, you know, putting your money where your mouth is and actually standing up for the right thing and doing something different and then see what they say from there. Granted, I understand it. Believe me, I understand it. I understand when the things that you see only afford you the the inform only afford you a limited amount of information for you to speak upon for you to speak on, for you to talk about, for you to create a song of. Then from there, only thing you can talk about after that is your hopes, your dreams, and your future. But unfortunately, many public acts, many public figures in recent times and I'm not even going to say recent times. It's been going back for a while now. Take off. One third of the Migos has been taken out over gun violence and for something very simple. Like a stupid argument. Part of it is, you know, this culture cares too much about the biggest part of being a man is being able to control your emotions. And today, they, the way how things, the way how society wants you to be is to be and do the exact opposite. 
they want you not to control your emotions, especially if you're black. When you're black, they want you not to control your emotions. They want you not to think logically. They want you to be thinking and making mm, decisions as a female if you're a man. That's why you can't tell me there's not an agenda pushing um, a gay and a feminine agenda for the black people. It's hard, it's hard to look at, it's hard to even talk about, but it's true. I don't know how many people, black people, is in on it, or if we even blind to it, or if we even considering it, or looking at it, or, you know, but it is. They want me, black men to be feminine, act feminine, be feminine, but they don't show that for anyone else, and we tend to just go ahead and fall for it just because we want the money. We want the bag, right? But you know what? Sometimes there's shit in that bag. And if you have shit in that bag, and somebody come on burn up the shit, or, and then you end up stepping on it, guess what? Now you have shit all over your shoes, all over the front of your house, on your porch. It's flying on your damn prize-winning roses. And maybe a little bit is on your damn dog. Right? And what are you left with? A bag that's turned to ashes, that's worthless. Because you can't take it with you. You can't go, no, you, you know, once you're gone, that's it. All the money, just think about it. Takeoff is gone, all the money that he had, gone. I don't even know if he have any children. Do he even have any children? So that doesn't even, if he did... They didn't even get a long time to even share with him. Money doesn't mean shit. Just think about how many rich peop rich kids out there right now turn to drugs. While that is happening, they have money. Their parents have money. Now they don't have anything. Because the money wasn't an important thing. The money, what was important in that they were able to spend it time with their family. Mom and dad and so on and so forth. You know? Look at this. I'm looking it up right now. Yeah, he, he doesn't have any kids. No children. So a man who lived and worked hard, got all this money, and what? He didn't get to share with no next generation of himself. No copy of himself. Now, who gets all that money? The record executive, you know, a whole bunch of people who gets money who didn't even, sh um, who wasn't there when he was being created. When he was sitting down thinking about all his dreams and all his 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 um plans for the future. They didn't care about that. All they cared about was just how we gonna make some money off of him. And they did. And they they getting ready to make some more too. You know. And then look, nothing. So you know, I implore you. You know who I'm talking to. The next generation that's coming up. You know, just think about it. All your favorite rappers, when they get to a certain age, they're not even singing and talking about the same type of stuff they were talking about before when they first came out. Because now the outlook on life is a little bit different. You know, if you can follow in that same footstep and do something different yourself, probably things would be a lot better from the start. Just think about it. You don't have to make no changes today. But, you know, if you try to be better today than you were yesterday, at some point, 
you will change. They say when you discover Jesus, the Bible says when you bring him into your heart, automatically you change. Automatically, things that you did before you couldn't, you can't do again. You know, when when you become a man, you put away childish things. And I think that's what the issue is. We are living our lives as feminine little girls and not growing any further. Now, just think about it. Until next time, I want everybody to live good, be good, and goodbye.